nine people. So my goodness, we are actually gonna get started. It is almost it is almost uh, due time. They gotta get going here. I'm gonna lay down the bind hammer. You should you should let him know. Huh? Uh, so you should let him know. I, I let him know the five minute warning already. And have they got us started? Walter is setting in. Somebody's Wade ready. Wade is up. in for Slay and Core is in for Yama. Cool. Did they start the config? Yeah, they did. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna bug Walter because, you know, why not? Just bug the medic. <laughs> if they're already playing. Alright, let's go over the rosters real fast here. Over on vertical line side, we've got Bat Out of Hell playing Spy. Right Guard is playing Medic. JMB is playing Heavy. Rinsewin is gonna be playing Pyro. Catafun is going to be playing Scout. Turn up his demo. Attrition is gonna be subbing in for GFG. He's playing Engineer. Huntsman is gonna be Huntsmanning it up. And Kill Deader is gonna be playing Soldier. For Walter's Waskly Wabbit, we've got two subs. Cobra is going to be playing Scout. Frosty Paul is going to be on Spy. Nut Duck is doing Pyro? Really? Nice. Portano is going to be on Heavy. Uh, Oreo Bear, who is in for Corn Dog, he will be playing Soldier. Cow looks like he might be playing Demo instead. Walter, 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 of course, is going to be playing Medic. Wade Blazon is going to be subbing in Slaytanica, going to be on the Sniper. And Core is subbing in for Yama, going to be playing Engineer. Teams are readying up. And. Walter has talked to me. I'm guessing that means two minutes in the future they have already started. Sweet. Just I'm going out on the limb and guessing that uh, Not Duck is going to be on sniper harassment detail. Uh, Just throwing that one out there. Oh man, I think. Well, I mean, there is a bit of a grudge going on here between uh, Huntsman and Not Duck. So. So I'm thinking he might be going for those sick uh, Huntsman reflex. <laughs> yeah, he might be aiming for that. Who knows? Nothing a little pee bottle can't help. There you go. Match begins in 15 seconds. I believe. Or you at least believe? I want to believe. Uh, but I thought I you were putting really your money down on the VL line. Oh, I, I am, because I'm also realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm just going to watch Cat the entire time, because I'm pretty sure a lot of highlight reels going to be there. <laughs> it's Wait. a bit early to call the MVP there, Why champ. is there two scouts? Did he? Uh, okay. There are. All right. I don't know. Maybe I just maybe your HUD's messed hallucinating up. Hallucinating there for a second because I could have sworn yeah, Attrition maybe. was a scout. You uh, thought wrong. Attrition's engineer. Yeah, but he ran back into the spawn. I don't know. Was Both I the only one who saw this? Off. Anybody else in chat? Let me know. Okay. Well, if you were watching on the live stream, you saw what I saw, and that, I thought that the was the config didn't allow that. Yeah, unless they screwed up the config. It's possible. Oh Cat man. is going to be There's on. There's a shocker. <laughs> Lots of is kills going on. Laser beams on top. And a quick cap for uh, vertical mm -hmm. lines. Oh, yeah. And uh, Attrition's got a nice simple. Uh, whoa, he's going to go Wrangle? Uh, I don't like Wrangler. Oh, minis. Uh, and I was mentioning before how heavy. The best place for the heavy, in fact, the only place for a heavy is in this upper area. They don't got much options anywhere else, otherwise they become a so sniper target. I was just going to say, it's a really exposed place to put that sentry, and then it got blown up. <laughs> On the other hand, he did hide the uh, dispenser pretty well, it looks like they need to ignore it. Yeah. Uh, that's actually where where he put the uh, dispensers, where I normally like to put the teleporter on my opponent's side. The, uh, the other engineer seems to have a more typical spot for the uh, Wrangled Sentry. Yeah, but again, I, I'm not a big fan of Wrangler. Laser Beam's gonna go. Well, it's about no kills. denying the point, right? Yes, it you is. Sort of force them out of a place where they can hide from your sniper. Yeah, but the thing is, is that with the Sentry is way exposed, it just gets sniped like that. Like I, I, l I normally like to put in that lower level area, uh, where it works a little bit better. For those of you guys keeping track at home, Huntsman currently has two points. And, uh, well, Not Duck's got Not eight Duck points. Has. He's doing work. Uh, probably extinguishes. <laughs> well, they're going to keep VL off the l point here, though. And see, you see right now, both the uh, Blue Scout and the Blue Pyro, they went down to that bottom area to get some health. Um, if I had a sentry down there, they would not be able to get that health. The control point oh, that's, being that's me. I, I like to fiddle around with random sentry placements all the time. Well, they had the upper ground here for a while, but it looks like they've lost it. 
I wonder if that was part of their plan. I'm not to lose it. I mean, to keep it uh, or uh, or what? Well, a lot of them were hurt afterwards, and I think a lot of them ran back to spawn to get heals, and sure. that allowed uh, red team to move in quickly. And don't forget, when you are on uh, offense, as that is when you don't have the point, you respawn a little bit faster than the other team respawns. We're still working that. There you go. Nice little mini downstairs. Pops dropping. I gotta this say, more, uh, this is more fiercely contested than I was expecting. Mm, I, I was gonna say that. Oh, uh, W3 is doing a very good job, and I, you know, I'm not gonna say it's the ringers or anything, uh, but maybe, maybe it's just swapping some of that class composition because getting knocked up back on Pyro is a major boon for sure. Yeah, you know, like getting rid of a little bit of Deadwood, <coughs> corn dog. <coughs> um, <laughs> really can't have hurt their chances. Well, you you would have a good opinion about demos. I wouldn't. <laughs> After I all, know, you you have experience carrying the team. He, uh, I only I can only help I can only hope to uh, you know live up to the brilliance. Uh, yeah, I got my ass carried last season. <laughs> uh, Vio's gonna re grab that point and. Cat's just gonna dance around. Man, I would never feel confident enough to do that with a spin around jump over that void. Whew, that's a lot of people catch that. Hey, Catafun here now, Cat. <laughs> Catafun is still top fragging for his team, though. Don't get me wrong, but Not Duck is also top fragging for his team. Uh, and in fact, almost everybody on uh, Blue is outscoring the medic, which is weird. Frosty Paul got caught out just before he decides to make a push. It's a tough map to actually build up this medic, though. I mean, unless you're just sitting and spawn the entire time. Well, that's why it's important for the heavy to take that upper area where the heavy is strong, and then you can crits, you can build a crits off him and be relatively safe. I guess that's right. You did see that crits earlier, didn't you? Or was yeah. that random? Well, right guards, right guards got crits, but there's no random crits in uh, right. Highland League. Bro. <laughs> Whoa. All right, laser beam's gonna go down into the spawn area. And they're gonna do what we call spawn camping. Totally legitimate strategy. Ooh. Sniper trying to pick off. Oh, but he gets Huntsman! It's gotta happen eventually. It's gotta happen eventually. Just spam it into that spawn area. Huntsman's gonna back it up. Back it up. Three seconds left. It looks like if they can get a person on, it'll be overtime. Ooh, they do get somebody on. Huntsman's gonna come in there with Lawaka. Does get killed for his troubles. Attrition's gonna get a sentry there, and that is the first round. It actually lasts quite a long time. Um, a little bit under five minutes. All right. Well, let's hopefully we'll see more of the same here. Uh, Vertical Lines knows they can't really ease off that much right now. Christian's gonna get a sentry back over that little half area. Not a bad spot. <laughs> that was a little bit uh, ambitious, I think, from Not Duck. <laughs> I didn't even see what he was doing. What did he do? I tried to axe the heavy. <laughs> Especially when the heavy is buffed, it requires, I think, yeah. Three? Well, the, the heavy Two was taking fire from uh, he was taking fire from. Cow. Yeah, but even so. then, even when he's like at half health or something, he still needs two axes before he dies. Or sorry, from Brotan, I forgot he's playing heavy right now. Mm. Like, in most cases, you need two axes on the heavy in order to kill him if he's been killed with the final medic, even if he's been lit up a little bit. It's just, on, it's just the way it is. And if you can't get those two, uh, it's hard. But then again, you don't have yeah, much well, choice when you're in that area. He, he didn't get one, though. Oh, Rizwin catches down. the medic! Does get the kill and gets out of there with his life as well. But in the meantime, uh, Walter's Waskley Wabbits do take the point. Rizwin's gonna try to deal with the heavy. Does light him on fire and get out of there again. And uh, Vertical Lion's gonna take advantage of these bunch of kills. Grab the cap real fast. Or retake the cap, rather. Okay. Move into the lead now by about 10 seconds. Plenty of time for Walters West and the web to come back. And uh, it looks like Core is going to have to set up a sentry in the back just to keep Cat away from their spawn. Gives, it does give Wade a bit more chances uh, as a sniper because they can't get it from behind there. Huntsman is just standing right in the middle here like a little pivot pillbox of Arrow Doom. 
and just get trashed. Not exactly the best place to stand um, for a sniper. What do you think? Uh, I mean, you know, right in the no, middle I, of the point yeah. where everyone can see you from. As I say angle. that, he dies. Uh, it's not terrible, I guess. Walter does have the crits ready. He's might be giving it to the heavy. Pretend is going to go upstairs. Okay, looks like they're going to clear off this area. They do see the other opposing medic heavy team. And oh, here comes some stickies, and a stab goes by, but misses everybody. Did he get anybody with that stab? I don't think so. Here comes the crits. Blah, 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 blah. Eh, blah, blah. No. Oh. What, what crits? What crits? Everybody runs away from that crits, and the crits fades. Doesn't even get one kill. Uh, Bat <laughs> does get killed by not that who uh, took him away. Let's get another card like here in spirit, anyway. <laughs> That's just mean, buddy. <laughs> Although I think they, they, you know, if they had given it to a uh, cow, he might have been able to do something a little bit with it. At least get the heavy. Maybe. At least yeah. get the medic, you know. I think that I think this map is one of those cases where you probably want to hang on to it until it's going to be useful rather than just hitting it immediately. Uh, maybe. I don't think if they had crits, because they push out with crits from spawn. If they had that, I don't think they should have gone that upper route. I probably would have taken the lower route instead. Uh, here comes the crits coming back up. They know people are there, so that's not a big issue. They're gonna get one kill off that, and they've got crits ready to push back into it. Here comes with cow. He's gonna get. Yes, takes the medic. Does he get the heavy? Yes, he does. Here we go. This is working. Gonna put a little bit of stickies in front of the spawn as well. It's gonna make a difference. Actually, there's no more stickies there, but they're gonna start spawn camping a wide. little bit. Yeah, that was good work there by cow. And Cat Oh, Cat finds the medic. And he's gonna chase after. Turnip comes out trying to take care of Cow. It does indeed work out that way. Uh, Cow comes back to save the day again. Resave it, unsave oh, it. Oh, Frosty whatever. Paul, that totally was a backstab. What a poor fail stab. Oreo Bear is standing on top of the soldier's favorite spot on this map, just spamming rockets down, but his rockets aren't gonna move fast enough to deal with Rinse Wind reflecting. I yeah, I am envious of that rockets. reflect. Yeah. Oh, but spamming rockets long range at a pyro is kind of dumb. Dude, man, even if you were shooting long range at me, I still wouldn't be able to handle it. Is that Mark and Gardner going on right here? <laughs> From who? From Kill Debtor. He was like rocket launch, uh, rocket jumper. Mark Gardner. Wade's gonna throw a bottle of pee and gets reflected. See, I'm so envious of people who can uh, reflect. I, I just can't reflect. I'm just so bad at it. Tristan is going to stand on the point yeah, and they're going to grab him. But you know what? Both rounds were strongly contested, although uh, not as much as that first one. Mm. Well, I think it was that, that strong push into the upper area that bought them time first round. Because they did have a pretty a couple of big kills on uh, mm -hmm. vertical lines. Against vertical line, I suppose. Oh, Korba can't decide who to kill. Puts a couple of me shots on the demo, but then runs away. Here comes Portano now. See if he can clear out the mess, but Turnip is going to be throwing stickies at him through that choke area. Uh, looks like almost everybody is up here. Everybody and their dog, it seems. Cal is rocking lock and load, channeling the power of Corn Dog and Fuzz. And that early push onto the midpoint was denied, so neither point has the mid yet. But here comes the Chris Creek, and the Heavy's got a long way to walk, though. So that Chris Creek's probably going to fade without doing anything. Will they push right back into them? Yes, they will, with their own crits. There are stickies in front of the door. Come on, kill stuff, kill stuff. Oh, kill stuff better. <laughs> <laughs> well, that went horribly wrong. Yeah, got stopped, stuffed by the demo and Pyro, kept them inside the hole there. JB is going to try to retake this upper area here. He's got a demo combo to fend off. Ah, Cow doing a good job. Knows exactly what heavies don't like. Stickies in the face. Uh, cow barely, uh, cow, uh, cat barely got touched there, taking out that heavy. But then he got touched by Cobra in the butt. No. Frosty Paul trying to deal with the dispenser. Gets shotgun by attrition for his trouble. Boy, they're having a little bit of trouble with the sentry. He finally takes it down. 
finds the Schneiper. Says goodbye, Huntsman. Huntsman's still not doing that bad. He's at 29 points. Or 28 points, rather. In fact, he's now outscoring uh, Nut Duck. <coughs> I don't think the two of them have even seen each other. Not too much, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're sort of lacking a bit of coordination now. Yeah, I mean... That uh, vertical lines are just sort of all over them, and they're not really... They don't really have much in the way of a concerted pushback. Yeah. Time is about halfway down on the counter. And... Oh, there you go. Not Doug versus... Huntsman. Oh, Huntsman does die to fire. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little bit less dramatic than I was hoping. I was really looking for an arrow. <laughs> you were waiting for that arrow to reflect. Yeah. In the meanwhile, Ooh. they do get the point, at least so they're going to get some time down on the clock. Oreo, Bear, and Cobra get stabbed. Killam continues to swap around his rocket launcher of choice, now using the direct hit. Huntsman spamming arrow does pick up a kill on a sentry gun. Here comes Crits on the demo. Oh, point blank shot in the face of Cobra. Huntsman defends uh, the point from this scout. Oreo Bear does make the jump that he was trying, then gets an arrow in the butt for his troubles. The control point is being contested. On the plus side, it wasn't a shutout, or hasn't given won't be a shutout. Uh, mm. so they did get some time with the point. Yep. Oh, again, Huntsman Ooh. lands another arrow, trying to pick off. It. Oh, I thought he was going to go away for the sure that time. Two rockets somehow not splashing him, trying to chip that last little bit of health away from him. All right. So, what do you think uh, Walter Swaskley Wabbit needs to do here? Our control point. Uh, um. Get on the point, and then, you know, wait two minutes and 19 seconds. <laughs> I figure that might help. Shoot him. Shoot him in the butt. Shoot him harder. I guess it's basically just that, that once the point gets capped, I gotta put a little more effort into, you know, right. ignore the DM for a little bit and then get right back on it. Yeah, here's the thing is, is that what really worked out for them for this particular push was that they got control of one area, and they use it as an anchor to push into the point, which is basically what you need to do. Before, they're, they're scattered all around, not really securing a particular area for them where the medic can survive. And even if the medic can't, you know, crits or anything like that, he can at least provide heals and buff, which are huge. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it's just more key, even than most other maps, to play it, uh, play it not like it's a pub, uh, a generic pub game. Because, I mean, it's not about... I mean, most people play this just to, you know, go around and shoot mm -hmm. people. Well, Vertical Lines yeah, really has cleared out that point. little anchor uh, that they had on that side there, and they're going to retake the point here. 20 seconds left on the clock for them. But Walter's Waskley Wabbit has managed to eat up half the time that they need. Oh, they're going to get in behind people here now, and they're going to push a little spawn camp. It's going to be really hard. Chris Creek is pop. That's going to take care of that heavy. Takes care of that soldier as well. It's going to be difficult for anybody to get in here. Fire Rampage. Ah, laser beams. And we're at halftime. Mm-hmm. So, uh, 4-0 and oh or 4-1? and one? Oh, that's tough. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it might be 4-0. Oh. Uh, the fact that they got, they're down 3, it's probably going to take a huge hit to their morale, and unfortunately, you know, Walters Waskley Wabbit, they are pretty much X1, or 1X right now, throughout the season. Uh, Wade has left the game, Slate is in, he's managed to reinstall. That might make a little bit of things happen, because he... What, what was wrong with I thought he was supposed to be subbing in, like, way earlier. No, no, Slay, uh, Slay is the... Sorry, not subbing in, he's supposed to be playing. Yeah, he uh, had to reinstall TF2 or something? I don't know. No, maybe get stuck on that uh, verifying files thing. Yeah, stuff like that happens. Huh. What are you talking about TF2 with no bugs? <laughs> but yeah, I think what 
Alters Waskly Wabbit needs to do is they need to find a place to basically set up shop and push from. Um, somewhere where they can guard their medic and prevent people from overtaking. And then once they set up that area, they might have to shift around a little bit too. Like once they get the point, they might have to set up shop somewhere else. Because you know vertical lines, once they find out where they're setting up, they're going to be pushing into that area really hard. So... Mm -hmm. So while you know while they're trying to get rid of their stronghold, um, Walter's Wasp is alive. As long as they're holding on to the point, they can move a little bit, but they should be moving relatively together. Um, and if Walter can stay up, he can kind of predict roughly when the Chris Creek might be popping into them. Mm -hmm. And with that in mind, then you can guys can get out of the way. Hopefully, yeah. There's a lot of the a lot of the what ifs kind of thing going on here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a John Madden analysis where, you know, the team uh, that first puts three minutes on the point uh, is probably going to be the winner. <laughs> How do we ch try to do that? Do, yep. you remember, do you remember that? I think the so, yeah. The John Madden? <laughs> he tried to do the John Madden. Not many people were impressed. <laughs> I was impressed. I laughed. Yeah, I... Yeah, and I guess if you look at the scores, it, it, it they are sort of getting out DM'd. Oh yeah. But I don't think that was really... Especially uh, with that Slay guy, what the hell, three points? Good god. Oh, Slay's gonna be coming in as demo, <laughs> and course switches over to Snipes. Could help fix Knock Duck, things. Knock Duck is gonna go to Engineer, and they're gonna leave Brotano and Pyro duties here. This is a little bit closer to the original roster that Walter sent in to me. Uh, yesterday, but I wonder how that's going to go for them because I really like Not Duck as Pyro. I mean, he was up there. You know what I mean? He was doing work. Yeah. But they're going to. But I guess the main reason for that is they're going to get Cow onto Heavy, and he might be able to do a little bit more with the Crits Krieg. Yeah, maybe. I guess, I guess we'll see. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. I mean, instead of Brotano or Cal as Chris Creek target, now you have Cal and Slaytanic as Chris Creek targets. You know what you should do? Freaking quick fix. Let's do it. <laughs> that probably isn't actually a terrible idea. Uh, the lack of a buff might hurt them, but it does certainly make it harder to take down the heavy. What else do we have? We also have the, um... Well, I mean, especially since the, uh, the crits haven't really been doing a lot of killing. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, quick fix may not actually be a terrible idea. If it weren't for the for fact that the vaccinator doesn't actually take damage away from actual crits... I would no. say vaccinator. <laughs> Uh, I, I like, I want to like the Vaccinator, you know what I mean? But I, I don't understand, like, Vaccinator could have been a viable counter to Chris Creek because it charges up faster, but the fact that it doesn't reduce damage from crits makes it so bad. I, I don't know why that, that was ever a decision. Yeah, obviously because it's so OP. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Well, Not Duck is getting warmed up onto uh, engineer duty. I think he's gonna warm up to it. Kill him pretty much was derping around, I think, the entire time. Last round, he was uh, switching between direct hit, regular rocket launcher, and rocket jumper. Speaking of rocket jumper, you can craft those now, can't you? Uh, so I hear. What is the uh, recipe for that? Let's take a look. I Falling don't know. Items. Rocket Jumper requires Mantreads, Mantreads, Mantreads Reclaim. Sticky Jumper requires Caper, 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 and Reclaim. Because that makes sense. <laughs> well, whatever. Mantreads kind of makes sense. It would make more sense if it was like all gunboats, you know? Uh, yeah. Gunboat, gunboat, and then either soldier slash demo weapon. Well, I guess Mantreads makes, uh, Mantra makes sense since that's. You're not going to take fall damage anyway with the. Uh, the uh, rocket jumper. Or what you do, you don't take blast damage. Okay, well, match is alive. Here we go. 4-1 anyway. four, or 4-0, four, oh, you call it AIDS. <laughs> I'm going to give Slay the benefit of the doubt. 
we can blame him if it's uh, not 4-1. I'm gonna say 4-1. Well, they're taking a little bit, slaves a little bit forward here, taking control of this top uh, middle area. Call this the penthouse. Oh, back comes up from behind, does get the stab on Walter. That is gonna kill this area. And a lot of the Wascally Wabbers are gonna jump down, getting away from that bat that lost battle there. Corbin's gonna try to compete with Cat on the point here. Frosty, a little too obvious with that uh, trip in. Oh, Huntsman does clear off the point. Never mind, Cat's back. He's gonna grab it. Just Ashley Tanaka sticking them <laughs> to death. Huntsman and Cora kill each other. It's cute. All right, so Vertical Lines gets the point first, and they're gonna. <laughs> the control point is being. They're gonna just hold down here, and Vertical Lines needs to set up shop somewhere. Oreo Bear is pushing into the spawn area. He's gonna get blasting attrition away. Bet you he wish he had rockets. Rip a slab. That's being a pain on uh, the side of Duck, sapping his sentries. Oh! Oh, there you go. Not Duck versus Huntsman. He has a pyro support. <laughs> Trishan tried to shotgun a soldier. Does get help from his heavy medic combo. Walter's Cobra. Wrestling Wab is going to grab it. Yay, finally. Our control point is being captured. But Chris Creek is popped right here back. on Cal. And just fades as the Pyro tries to take care of him. Uh, Walter's hugely lit. He's going to grab a couple of health packs and a sandwich. And they're going to try to hold up in the lower mid area here see if they can keep people from pushing. It looks like Cal wants to go back towards their spawn. It feels like there's people there. Well, because they're getting camped. Yeah, getting camped a little bit. I mean, there is still three exits. So for us, they use the time on that rather than actually taking back the point. Mm-hmm. Well, JMB is just distracting, pulling people away from the defense of the middle area. And we've got times four on the point right now. Rincewind lighting up the hunts for Right there, getting mini. Riker, will he get shotgun down? No. Riker stays up. Red team's gonna make a push right back in here, though. Oh, cat of fun tries to knock Cal off the edge. Cal does grab a health pack, so he's still in there. Cat of fun gets stickied away. Huntsman topping the lineup for vertical lines right now. And Walter Wesley Wab is going to hold the point again. They still got about 30 seconds to kill before they are tied up on the clock. Turnip comes in, does get a sticky, kills both the Pyro and the Medic. Not Duck gets in a punching fight with Attrition. Attrition wins. So they've lost their little foothold in that middle area there. He's gonna mostly dead. Yeah. And but they did put a lot of time on the point. Mm -hmm, they did. They've caught up in time now. A and bit. Slay may actually keep it. Nope. Yeah, but he's. Oh, 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 oh. oh does clear off. Turn up. Oh, flared in the butt. Well, he, he did make a bit of a difference. You can't say he didn't. I can say whatever I damn well want. Elijah. Yeah. So there. <laughs> You sure showed me, sir. Oh. But crucially, the back end. Oh, uh, Laser oh, beams. Cobra. They're going to be spawned and camped a little bit. This spawn count. And the minigun's also there, too. Portano puts a flare in the back of Bat, but I think Bat was just dead ringing. Yeah, he was. Oh, man. They are hardcore spawn camping now. They got all the exits covered. Somehow, Not Duck is back there. Does get the kill on Cat. So the lower door is free for wa the Wabbits if they want to come out that way. Chris keep going up on top. Yeah, I'm they thinking they're not going to take this. I think they're done. Well, they've cleared out people on top. They did get the Medic as well. Oh, Cal! Yeah, but they've got to get the point. 
Oh, they got 25 seconds. They can get the point in that time. They just gotta be brave. And they're killing a lot of people. They got a lot of uh, almost. But they're not standing on point. Right. They, there is the soldier watching the point, and that he gets sniped down. And now they've got people on the point. Scout's gonna get there as well. Times five gonna cap it real hard. Uh, Cal is even if they, camping even if they do points. take this, it's gonna get taken right back. Uh, there's not that many people pushing out. Cal was camping the spawn a little bit. Oh, they didn't manage to get the full cap though. Rinswin runs through it and decreases the time a little bit faster. Who's pushing on? Cal looks like he's gonna come up forward. Hopefully allows his... No, didn't quite make it. And that is GG's. Or is it? That's... Yes. Supposed to be GG's. Yes, yes, yes it is. Alright. So who do you want to talk to? Who do you not want to talk to? I don't know. Whoever. All right. So Easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> oh boy. Let's get. Let's get Brotano on if he doesn't mind. Do you mind Brotano? Uh, no. No I, I don't question have much mark. To say. That's okay. Just just answer the questions. You'll be fine. <laughs> All right. What's going on? Not much. And I'm going to take Cat because I like listening to Cat's voice. Cat's got a wonderful voice. He does. Cat, did you know you have a wonderful voice? Um, I did not know that. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> All right. So first question, um, Brotano, you guys got a whole bunch of subs. I know Walter had to pull in yeah. a couple people. How did you feel your subs did today? Uh, I think they actually did pretty well. Um. Correct. Yes. No, continue. <laughs> um, no, I didn't have other to say other than that. Um, we had, I don't know, quite a few. Mm -hmm. Worked out. I am lagging really hard, holy Christ. Oh, you don't have to worry too much about that. It's just team speak. Game's over, man. It's all good. <laughs> and uh, Kat, you got to go wild a little bit again as Scout. Um, how did you enjoy that? It's always nice playing Scout on a map that's kind of made for it. It's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Did you have any trouble dealing with mini sentries at any point? Yeah, mini sentries are pretty good. They're um, they're definitely really good. They're Had balanced. Some and, and balanced. Yeah, absolutely. Totally yeah. balanced, right? Mm. So so balanced, <laughs> so well. Especially with the Wrangler. I, you know, I've never been really partial with uh, uh, to minis and Wrangler. I always rather just pistol and mini. That yeah. uh, that way, there's like two sources of fire instead of one. Yeah, we just couldn't get that sentry down on the first round. Mm -hmm. First half, Tristan just had it up, could not deal with it. All right, uh, Brotano, you played heavy for that opening area. Uh, yeah. How did you feel? You had to match up against JMB, and also yeah. Turnip was spamming you at the same time. Yes, I did. I don't think I did very well. And uh, you also had the pressure of the crits uh, being the crits target as well a mm -hmm. little bit there. Yeah, failed a couple times for that, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, you did okay. You you were get up there um, in the kills as well, and then you went back to playing pyro. And I, I yeah. noticed that you guys tend to put you on pyro and move not duck off pyro. Uh, what other classes would you, you have been comfortable playing? Well, really, the, the only other thing I I think I would be any good at is soldier. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had Oreo Bear on that, so... No, oh, yeah. Oreo Bear was huge, hey? Yeah. <laughs> he was doing well, so... Oh, well, you're playing Spy right now. How are you How are you doing? Uh, oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> terrible on Spy. Poor Spy in the rope, though. All right. Um, and Catafun, you guys, again, this is your final game. Would you have liked to play on Steel? Or would you rather have this... Uh, Steel's an interesting map. Um, I know AL had a couple games, so our team would probably do pretty well on it uh, with AL's practice. And, mm -hmm. um, I would have liked to have seen what our team could do on the map, but it'll be interesting to see what the other teams are going to try, what kind of strategies develop. Well, you guys will have a bye week next week. What do you plan on doing with that? Um, I'm sure we'll practice. I'm sure we'll practice something. Get ready for the playoffs. So so ready. So, so ready. ready. How do you guys, how do you feel? Uh, you guys are prepared for the playoffs. You see, you guys can take it all. 
Um, I don't know. Rince probably has a better grasp on that than I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you played in several seasons in DSGL now. Uh, how many of those were you part of the winning team? Um, I couldn't say for certain. <laughs> so it all seems to blend together. But is it? Uh, would you say it's a non-zero it number? <laughs> it would definitely be a non-zero number. Excellent. Uh. All right. Last question for you, Brotan. At least from me. Uh, you guys could have clinched a spot during this game, but hey, you guys have next week as well to clinch a spot in the playoffs. Um, so it's exciting for the spectators to know that the games do matter in the next one. What will you guys be doing to prepare yourself for that match that does make a big difference? Well, uh, I, I would think hopefully get a few scrims in. This week we didn't actually have any, so that, that probably hurt us quite a bit. Uh, also midterms Get some too. practice in there. Yeah, it's, it's a bad time, but yeah, get some practice in, hopefully. It'll help us a lot. And if it does reach a tie, um, what kind of tiebreaker would you want to see? Heavy boxing? Heavy whipping? <laughs> uh, so heavy heavy boxing sandwich probably. tossing? Good, maybe something good not to do with heavies? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe some, uh, some like Degrude or something. Eh? Sorry? Some Degrude, maybe? I don't, know. I don't think we'll play an actual match. I want to see just like heavy boxing or something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'd be down. All right, um, Elijah, you got any questions? Yeah, uh, you guys were both running crits all game. Um, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Was there any, you know, discussion of not doing that, running something else? Uh, Quick not fix. Smart team. Vaccinator. Yeah. No, it was pretty much crits the whole time. So. All right. If we had gotten any, like, if we could have gotten better positioning, I think it would have turned out much better. But well, we just okay. never had the chance to to really. Uh, do well with the crits. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it. Alright. That's it? I, I guess so, yeah. No, 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 I'm done, I'm done. Alright, uh, any yeah. shoutouts for Tano? Uh, shoutout to the, I guess the whole team. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We've been doing that great. I, I think we've been having fun. At least I have, so. It's all about Thanks fun and games. Oh, absolutely. It's about games and fun. I love it. I mean, Cat, it's all about fun. It's in his name. <laughs> well, pretty much all the time. Fun. Cat, any shout outs? Um, shout out to the subs for this game. Couldn't have done it without <laughs> all of you. Four <laughs> <laughs> subs. <laughs> and um, Elijah, any shout outs? Yeah, obviously I got a shout out to esports. Yeah, shout out to GMB, yeah? Uh, only team left with the perfect season. Uh, go esports. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you guys again on Thursday. I believe it's going to be NOM versus eSports. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Same map. And then next week we'll be on Steel. So steal yourself for that. Prepare. Steel is coming. That was a terrible pun. Yes, I know. Okay. Ciao. <laughs>